Hey there! I recently came across some fascinating information about the geography of Tunisia. Did you know that Tunisia is located in North Africa and is bordered by the Mediterranean Sea to the north and northeast? Its location is quite strategic, don't you think? Absolutely! Tunisia's geographical location has played a significant role in its history and culture. Being at the crossroads of different civilizations, it has a rich and diverse heritage. The country's coastal plains along the Mediterranean are not only beautiful, but also economically important. They support agriculture and are home to many urban centers. Right, and speaking of diversity, Tunisia's landscapes are incredibly varied. From the coastal plains, it extends to the Atlas Mountains in the north, which not only adds to its scenic beauty, but also influences its climate. The mountains act as a barrier, influencing rainfall patterns and creating a sharp contrast between the wetter, greener north and the arid south. That's a crucial point. The north receives more rainfall, allowing for fertile agricultural land and lush forests. But as you move southward, you encounter the vast Sahara Desert, which covers a significant portion of the country. It's fascinating how the geography transitions from fertile lands to arid deserts within the same country. Absolutely, and it's not just the Sahara that defines Tunisia's southern region. There are the Atlas Mountains that continue into the south, creating a stunning backdrop. And did you know about the Shad El Yiride, a large salt lake in the desert? It's quite a sight to behold, especially during sunset when the colors of the sky reflect on the salty surface. Yes, Shad El Yiride was mesmerizing. It's also interesting how these geographical features have influenced the lifestyle of the people in different regions. For instance, the oases in the desert have been crucial for human settlement, providing water and fertile land for agriculture. They've allowed civilizations to thrive in the midst of the harsh desert conditions. Absolutely, and let's not forget about the coastline. Tunisia boasts over 1,100 miles of coastline along the Mediterranean Sea, with beautiful beaches and resorts. The coastal areas are not only vital for tourism but also for fishing, which has been a significant part of the country's economy and culture for centuries. True, and speaking of the Mediterranean, Tunisia has several islands off its coast, like Jerba, which is the largest island in North Africa. These islands are not just popular tourist destinations, but also have historical significance. Jerba, for instance, has a rich history dating back thousands of years making it a fascinating place to explore. Absolutely, and the historical significance of Tunisia's geography doesn't end there. The country is dotted with ancient ruins and archaeological sites, like the ancient city of Carthage. These sites showcase the rich history of Tunisia, highlighting its importance in ancient times as a center of trade, culture, and power in the Mediterranean region. Carthage is indeed a gem. The ruins there are a testament to the advanced engineering and architectural skills of the ancient Carthaginians. And it's not just Carthage. Tunisia is home to many other historical sites like Duga, El Gem, and Kerouan, each offering a unique glimpse into the country's past. Absolutely, and let's talk about the cultural diversity that arises from Tunisia's geography. The country's location as a bridge between Europe, Africa, and the Middle East has influenced its culture significantly. You can see this blend in the cuisine, art, music, and even languages spoken in different regions of Tunisia. That's a great point. The cultural diversity is also reflected in the architecture. The traditional houses in the coastal areas differ from those in the desert regions, showcasing the adaptability of the people to their surroundings. It's fascinating how geography has shaped not just the physical landscape, but also the cultural and architectural heritage of Tunisia. Absolutely, and let's not forget about the natural resources that Tunisia's geography offers. The country has significant reserves of phosphates, oil, and natural gas, which have played a vital role in its economy. These resources have contributed to industrial development and economic growth, further emphasizing the importance of understanding the geography for sustainable development. You're right. The geography of Tunisia is not just a matter of academic interest, it has real-world implications for the people living there. It affects their livelihoods, their traditions, and their future. Understanding the geography is essential for making informed decisions about agriculture, water management, urban planning, and environmental conservation. Absolutely, 
and it's also worth mentioning how Tunisia's geography has influenced its political and strategic significance. Its location in North Africa has made it a key player in regional politics and diplomacy. The country has played a crucial role in various international initiatives and has been a bridge for cultural and economic exchanges between different regions. Definitely, Tunisia's strategic location has given it a unique position in the global arena. It has been a melting pot of cultures, ideas, and influences for centuries, and its geography continues to shape its destiny. It's remarkable how a country's geographical features can have such a profound impact on its history, culture, economy, and politics. Absolutely, and as we continue to explore and understand the geography of Tunisia, we gain not only knowledge about a specific country, but also insights into the interconnectedness of the world. Geography, in essence, is a lens through which we can view the complexities of our planet and appreciate the diverse and intricate ways in which humans interact with their environment. Well said. Geography is indeed a multidisciplinary field that encompasses not just physical features, but also human societies and their interactions with the environment. It helps us appreciate the beauty of our planet and understand the challenges and opportunities that different regions face. Tunisia, with its diverse and unique geography, serves as a perfect example of the intricate relationship between humans and their surroundings. Absolutely, and as we conclude our discussion, it's clear that Tunisia's geography is not just a topic of academic interest. It's a story of resilience, adaptability, and human ingenuity. It's a story that continues to unfold, shaping the lives of millions of people and leaving a lasting impact on the world. Understanding and appreciating the geography of Tunisia is not just about learning facts. It's about embracing a narrative that is both fascinating and enlightening. Well said, my friend. Our conversation has truly highlighted the depth and complexity of Tunisia's geography and its profound impact on various aspects of life. It's a reminder that the study of geography is not just about maps and locations, it's about unraveling the intricate tapestry of our world and appreciating the beauty of its diverse landscapes and cultures. Thank you for this enlightening discussion.